all aboard. On a sunny Adelaide day, tonnes of perishables and other supplies were loaded, bound for far north communities hit by flooding rains in the past week. And along with the cargo, there was a simple message from the Defence Force organisers of the delivery. There will be supplies coming and that will be on an ongoing basis until we get through this particular period of emergency. Whilst it is a long way away from metropolitan Adelaide, uh, it is absolutely critical that we put all resources to responding. Cooper Pedy and other northern towns normally receive three deliveries a week from road transport, but none have been able to get through with the Stewart Highway cut near Glendambo, about three hours south of the mining town. It's harder for your kids and your families with not much food being in town. It's left locals thankful for the Defence Force flights. In this situation, uh, this delivery uh, yeah, would be life-saving for everyone in the Cooper Beatty. But some are still questioning why the highway is closed. Trucks drivers are saying there's nothing wrong with it, so why, not, why don't we just open it up? That's certainly been an issue for the trucking company tasked with delivering to Cooper Beatty and other towns in the north. It has four trucks stranded at Glendambo. One of the bigger problems is who's responsible for kind of assessing and fixing the situation. Talk to the Department of um, Roads, speak to the police, everyone keeps kind of pushing it somewhere else. Driving that is the weather forecast, which promises another deluge on an already sodden landscape. The most significant rainfall is expected to come tomorrow and could last until Wednesday. And that leaves vulnerable communities like this one, who are already facing challenges, bracing for the situation to become much worse. I think we've still got a couple of worrying days ahead of us. A crisis without any end in sight. Patrick Martin, ABC News, Cooper Beattie.